So you've come to this video to find out how hunting works in Red Dead Redemption 2 and how to hunt effectively in the game and get the most out of your kills. Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Firstly, what are you trying to achieve? High value meat and pelts with minimal damage or rotten meat? or perhaps a quick kill and quick food for the camp. Maybe instead you want to know what weapons to use for what animals. Well, never worry because that's all going to be covered in this video. So first, what weapon should you be using to hunt? Use a rifle or shotgun if you're after easy, quick kills requiring less accuracy and dedication to precision. Using these weapons will decrease the quality and the resources in pelts and meat from the animals that you've hunted. So if you're after more money and better resources, such as pelts that aren't damaged and meat that can be salvaged a lot better, I would recommend using the bow and arrow so you guys can hunt down both the most valuable pelt and gather the best quality resources such as meat in the game. To do this, of course, you need to acquire the bow and arrow and use Arthur's special hunting skill, the environmental awareness, to help you track down the animals and see vital hit areas on your prey. Using Arthur's environmental awareness is the most crucial element to the game. You'll need to use this in order to track these animals through their droppings, footprints and even blood trails if your first shot fails to drop the animal in the first instance. Once you've decided the weapon that you want to use, it's all about getting that kill quickly done to avoid any unnecessary chases through the forest or suffering of the animal. Make sure you guys use the crouch ability to maintain a minimal visibility and get a good vantage vantage point on your prey as good as you can. This is important to keep out of sight and also benefits the stealth mode allowing you to move quietly throughout the world without getting spotted. Always aim for the heart or a crucial hit area such as the head but of course the heart is the best area to aim for. If your shot misses the target such as the heart but ends up hitting the animal and injuring it, the animal will run away into the trees or the nearby environment and you will need to use Arthur Morgan's environmental awareness to track down that animal and of course use the mini map to look for the animal paw print to track down where that animal is now located. Once the animal is dead, skinned or not, you'll need to get the materials back to the base, camp or a shop. So now this is where your horse comes in need. Call your horse over and have your newly hunted prey placed onto the back of your trusty steed. You guys need to get that deer or that fox that you've just shot onto the back of your horse and then from there you can choose what you want to do. You can either take your hunted animal to a shop to sell for meat or pelt or of course as I said take it back to camp for Pearson to cook meals and then boost the morale of your other gang members. Be aware that your horse can only carry a limited amount of weight on its back. You can carry several rabbits, ducks, birds and even deer on the back of your horse. Hey if you want to you can go into the swamps and hunt an alligator and put that on the back of your horse as well. Every animal has its own unique crafting materials. Alligators will help you craft awesome saddles. Bird feathers might help you craft arrows or feathers to put in your hat. And deer pelt might help you make a coat suitable for the winter. There's tons of different ways that you can use these resources that you've hunted and sell them for quick money. So that's our mini tip for Red Dead Redemption 2 for today. If you're interested in finding out more tips before the game comes out that you guys can use when you get your hands on the game, make sure you subscribe and of course stay tuned for gameplay as soon as the game is released. Stay cool, stay awesome, and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next mini tip video. Adios.